Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is January 26, 2017. Glory be to Father God, creator of heaven and earth. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. The Lord granted me a vision of a vintage car last night. I understood the focus was on the left rear tire, which bore bright orange walls, as opposed to the traditional wall, white walls. I ended up falling asleep and I ended up receiving a dream and in this dream I was shown bridesmaids dressed in purple. I was given understanding not yet a bride, not being ready. We were at a wedding reception each bridesmaid had a child with her. The bridesmaids each held three pods. I received understanding that what we were carrying were pods and what seeds we've planted. That's what the pods represented. Ten names started to be called out one by one. I knew it was symbolic of the ten virgins parable. As the names started to be called out, the child who accompanied the bridesmaids were taken up first. I then was shown a male, a groomsman, not the groom. This symbolized a male in the body of Christ. He was partially dressed as well, uh, bearing a white undershirt, <clears throat> excuse me, and white pants. He did not have his tuxedo jacket on, so he was partially ready. When he tried to dance with me, his mouth foamed of orange color. Orange, the Lord has revealed recently in other recent visions and words as being of apostasy. So his mouth started to foam with apostasy. He was smacking his teeth together almost like he was trying to bite. And I received that this symbolized backbiting in the body of Christ. It was clear in the dream he was not a godly member of the church, an evil imposter. The Lord led me to look at the origin of the word wall in reference to the tire wall that he showed me at the beginning uh, in the vision. Interesting enough, it took me to Daniel chapter 5, where he gives a description of being numbered, weighed, and divided. The word tire derives and is a short form of attire, and that a will of attire is a dressed will, or in this case, made ready. The pods wor word derives from fruit seeds. This revelation in the dream is some are faithfully planting seeds pleasing to the Lord and some willfully, willingly or unwillingly or subconsciously or uh, consciously are planting seeds of doubt by not being ready, spending time gossiping and backbiting, thus the clacking of teeth. Rather than us going directly to the Lord to seek guidance, um, we want to be careful to not fall victim to the flesh. These are the um, two, well, it's actually in all Galatians, but I'm going to read to you what he gave to me. And it's uh, Galatians, the first one is Galatians chapter 5, verse 16 through 25, which is clearly um, uh, entitled, Walking in the Spirit. So I'm going to read that now, if I can get my Bible over here. Okay, so, um, it starts with, I say then, walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another, so that you do not do the things that you wish. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, revelries, and the like, of which I tell you beforehand, just as I told you in time, time past that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom. 
uh, clearly this is a warning for the um, body of Christ here. Um, he's specifically saying that we will not inherit the kingdom if we do these things. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. There is no law. And those who are Christ's have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another, envying one another. In other words, also including gossip, things of that nature. Um, bear and share the burdens and be generous and do good is the next section. And that is in chapter 6 of Galatians, uh, verse 1 through uh, 10. So quickly going to go through that. Sorry, guys. Um, very limited on what I have as, as uh, you know, cameras and data and things of that nature. Um, Brethren, if a man is overtaken in any trespass, you who are spiritual, restore such a one in a spirit of gentleness. Considering yourself, lest you also be tempted bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of christ for if anyone thinks himself to be something when he is nothing he deceives himself this calls for unity again but let each one examine his own work and then he will re he will have rejoicing in himself alone and not in one another for each one shall bear his own load be generous and do good let him who is taught the word share in all good things with him who teaches. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. For he sows to his flesh, will, will of the flesh reap corruption. But he, he who sows to the Spirit will of the Spirit reap everlasting life. And let us not grow weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all, especially to those who are of the household of faith. I'm going to read that again. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all, especially to those who are of faith the household of faith. God bless you, brothers and sisters. This is clearly um, a message for the body of Christ. Uh, this is what the Lord is revealing um, to us in this dream, um, filled with uh, symbolism. So I had to break it down here um, this morning. Um, but please stay encouraged and more so make sure that you are uh, seeking counsel with the Lord directly and not so much your your co-watchmen and maid servants, because we can all fall into the flesh and um, thus, um, you know, creating more uh, division um, without realizing it. I love you guys.